Real estate has been on a wild ride. In the midst of it all, how do you know what your house is worth? I'm Rob Hundley with the AZ Realty by Rob team from Asher Kime Real Estate. I offer lots of real estate tips and tricks, so subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon. In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways to calculate your home's worth. Now, the last one is one folks often miss. The first way, iBuyer websites. iBuyer, short for instant buyers, are companies that make a cash offer to buy your house immediately. They use algorithms to determine your home's worth and then make an offer based on that, less of course their profit margin. You can go on their websites, punch in your address and get an estimate. Keep in mind though, it's only an estimate. Given the shape of many iBuying companies today, not always a very accurate estimate. Nevertheless, it's a starting point. Two, your own research. Home sales are a matter of public record. You can poke through tax records to find out what houses in your neighborhood have sold and for what price. Now, if you like doing this sort of research, this can give you a better estimate. Keep in mind though that the market has been moving very rapidly, so you don't want to look for sales more than just a few months out. Number three, figure out the average cost per square foot for houses in your area and price range. Now, it can be hard to compare homes. Cost per square foot is one way to compare. But as with all comparisons, you have to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. And to push this image even further, remember there are many varieties of apples. So try to find houses built around the same time of similar size and floor plans. Amenities and improvements also need to be factored into the equation. Number four, duh, ask a realtor. <laughs> Running comps is something we do every day. A good agent will always know where the market is headed and what that means for the value of your house. We put together a comparative market analysis and then walk you through it. Now, it's very important to understand how a realtor comes up with their numbers. Some may try to inflate the price in order to get the listing. Others might not do a good job if they don't know the territory. Here in Phoenix, that's key, as in house values can vary greatly, even from block to block. Further, you may want a quick sale or be willing to wait for your price. There are many other terms of an offer that are important as well. Now, I provide my clients with all of this information, and in the end, ask them for the price they're most comfortable with. Number five, the other way to get an estimate on your home's value is to order an appraisal. Now, most of you know appraisals from when you're refinancing or selling your house, but you can also order one if you want an unbiased estimate. Home appraisals, appraisers will look at many of the same metrics that realtors look at, but they don't have any interest in the numbers. So if you want to get what you would consider to be an objective opinion, a couple hundred dollars an appraisal will cost might be worth it. Hey, thanks for watching.